Hello and a very good morning everyone. How are you doing today? How was your trading day yesterday? Gold prices dropped more than 100 US dollars yesterday. I hope you guys uh, managed to sell and made, made some good for profits yesterday. So uh, welcome to today's market update. My name is Edmund and uh, as mentioned just now, gold prices has been dropping from a high of 2000 and about 2048 US dollars on Monday evening. On the 10th of August, um, and on Monday evening at about 10 p.m., gold was at a price of 2,048. And as we are speaking now, gold prices are current currently trading at 1,883. Uh, gold prices has dropped uh, about 175 US dollars within the last 48 hours. Okay, so let us have a look and see what are the fundamental factors that has changed in the financial markets and also what to look out for in the economic calendar for today. And we will come back to the technical charts shortly. Okay, so uh, some of the major shifts um, in terms of the fundamentals of the markets. Number one, um, the US Congress and Senate, they are in ongoing negotiations to approve another financial aid for the COVID-19 uh, pandemic rescue situation. And of course, uh, the next uh, major tranche that they are looking at to uh, support these financial uh, programs is actually a 38 billion uh, 38 billion US dollars. Uh, they are going to be selling this uh, up to 38 billion US dollars worth of 10 year treasury notes tonight. Okay, so it's one of the largest tranches uh, ever recorded in the history of uh, the US uh, treasury, treasury Department. And of course, uh, this has had an impact on uh, treasury, treasury yields and also partly has pushed down gold prices okay other major fundamental shifts was that uh, there was very um, credible reports that uh, new vaccine progress has been very encouraging uh, from russia we have uh, russian president vladimir putin um, mentioning that uh, an official vaccine has been registered with the government's health ministry and also from dubai um, Human trials are seeing very good progress, and I believe some of this uh, progress in vaccine developments has also helped to push down gold prices. Okay, so let us have a look and see what is coming up for today in, the, in terms of the economic calendar. Uh, back to the you know the routine stuff. So today we had the, at ten a.m. this morning, uh, Royal Bank of New Zealand announcing their monetary policy statement. I believe uh, they did not change their. They did not change their um, interest rates or so on. So at 10 a.m., um, yet to be seen what has changed. Okay, so um, 10 a.m. this morning, if you're trading the New Zealand dollar, there could be some volatility on the New Zealand dollar. However, I believe uh, most of the focus and emphasis will still be on how the U.S. dollar is reacting. And this will play a part in uh, the movement of the New Zealand dollar also, although there is... Uh, Royal Bank of New Zealand uh, announcement this morning. Okay, so here we go. Just a quick look at the uh, New Zealand dollar. Okay. Okay, yep. New Zealand dollar um, was already weakening for the last 24 hours or so. And just now, as the Royal Bank of New Zealand was announcing their Monetary policy statement. Monetary policy statement. The New Zealand dollar dropped from uh, zero point six five five six all the way to zero point six five two two, moving down forty three pips. Okay, so um, let us get back on track. So this is if you are trading the trading the New Zealand dollar, then you'll be watching and analyzing the New Zealand dollar as early as uh, yesterday or even this morning. Okay, so yeah, so this was for the New Zealand dollar was supporting it broke through the support yesterday evening and this morning was bearish and at the announcement it went down further okay so coming back to the the rest of the economic data coming up at 2 p.m for those who are trading the uk pound watch out for a set of economic data to be announced at 2 p.m local singapore and malaysia time um it will comprise of a few uh, quite a number of economic data uh, but most notably, it will be consisting of the monthly gross domestic product numbers, industrial production numbers, and also manufacturing production numbers. So, um, yeah, just watch out for the movements of the UK pound towards uh, 2 p.m. again, and it could start as early as uh, 1 p.m., leading all the way until 4 p.m., and also towards the U.S. market trading session. 
Okay, uh, moving on to 5 p.m., we will be having the monthly industrial production numbers for the Eurozone. And uh, this will, to a certain extent, have some effects on the movement of the Euro dollar. And moving towards the evening session, we will be having the core cons uh, the consumer price index numbers, the monthly consumer price index at 8.30 p.m. And for those who are trading crude oil prices, uh, there should be some activity today also. We also saw some activity yesterday as crude oil prices uh, dropped uh, during the US trading session. And again, uh, we were expecting the drop yesterday as it was le leading up towards uh, tonight's uh, crude oil inventories data. FOMC member, Mr. Robert Kaplan, will be speaking at 11 p.m. And that wraps up the economic calendar in terms of uh, events and data coming up for today. Let us have a look at uh, other fundamental reasons that occurred yesterday. Again, uh, we saw the US dollar initially uh, pushing down after finding some resistance uh, at the 93.67 levels. Okay, So there was resistance on Monday, Tuesday and also for yesterday. And the US dollar um, moved down first at about um, at about 10 plus 5 is uh, 1500 hours, which is at 3 p.m. local Singapore time. The US dollar weakens after finding uh, resistance, couldn't get past these uh, resistance levels. Okay, so we went down uh, for about four to five hours. And as the US dollar was weakening um, at about 1000 hours, we do see the UK pound um, moving up at about that time. Here we go, 1000 hours. So the UK pound moved up from 1.3063 all the way to a high of 1.3131, going up 67 pips. Okay, and towards the US trading session, we do see the, U, uh, the US dollar um, having some support and consolidation and towards uh, 1600 hours plus 5 is 21, um, 9 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. The US dollar strengthens and just this morning, it managed to break through this resistance and currently is on a bullish note. Okay, So um, as the US dollar was strengthening yesterday at about 9 p.m., we do see the UK pound again uh, weakening. This is the candle, 1600. And uh, plus 5, it is 21 again, uh, 9 p.m. The UK pound pushes down from 1.3111 all the way to a low of 1.3043, going down 74 pips. And just this morning, as the US dollar uh, is still slightly bullish, the UK pound continues to go down and touches this uh, support, which was drawn previously at 1.3022. Okay, so generally, um, the sentiment again has been. Uh, uh, tipping towards uh, bullish for the US dollar and also bearish for the major currency pass. But again, watch out for uh, the UK trading sessions later to decide where the um, latest sentiment and direction will be. Okay, Currently, it looks like the UK pound is going to a consolidation phase. Um, if it continues to move down, it will be testing the next support levels of uh, 1.3004, which is just about 25 pips to the downside. If it breaks this level, we are looking for it to test 1.2983, which is about 50 pips to the downside. Okay. Um, on the upside, of course, uh, we are looking at uh, the current resistance at 1.3058, which is about 20, uh, 20 pips to the 28 pips to the upside. Um, and if it can go up further, we are looking for it to test uh, 1.3086 again, which is about uh, 50 pips to the upside. Okay, so a similar story to euro dollar as the US dollar was weakening at uh, 1000 hours and also at the 1600 hours, which was 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. We do see the, the euro dollar, first of all, strengthening at about, again, a similar pattern, 1000 hours, which is uh, 3 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time, moving up from 1.1730 all the way to high of 1.1810 going up 79 pips and then after during the evening session again at 1600 hours 9 p.m local singapore malaysia time it comes down from 1.1796 all the way to a low of 1.1726 yesterday coming down 69 pips and this morning again uh, pushes down to touch 1.1760 okay so again uh, the euro dollar is uh, looks like it's going to be going into a consolidation range with uh slight bearish tone so the next uh, support levels will be towards 1.1705 which just which is just about 20 pips to the downside and to the upside we are looking for it to if it does uh, have the push and the chart patterns to push it up we are looking at the immediate uh, resistance of 
which is about 40 pips to the upside. And of course, the next target level will be 1.1780. Okay, so moving on to gold prices. Uh, gold prices has been bearish uh, ever since touching a high of 2075 last uh, Friday. And after the non-farm payrolls data, uh, the US dollar has been on a bullish streak and also gold prices has been on a bearish run. So gold prices dropped as early as uh, 8 a.m. yesterday from a high of 2,028 US dollars. During the Asian trading session, it comes down to a low of about 1,983, moving down 44, 44 US dollars. And towards the UK trading session, uh, sorry, the US trading session, um, it was going down again from 1,988 um, levels all the way to a low of 1,902 levels. So uh, it went down at $86. So from the Asian trading session in the morning, uh, local Singapore and Malaysian time, all the way to the evening, it went down about 127 US dollars, my friends. That is amazing. Okay, so these are the major moves that we are looking for, and uh, this these are the days that uh, uh, pays the bills <laughs> for those who are full time traders. Okay, so um yeah, and this morning of course uh the US dollar keeps on dropping from one thousand nine hundred twenty six, touching a low of one thousand eight hundred seventy two. Even this morning it moved down about fifty three US dollars. And currently, it is uh, trying to consolidate. You can see the price action is gone a bit quiet. So it should be testing a high of uh, 1,922 to the upside. And currently, the low is towards uh, 1,872. Um, that is the target price. If it was to go down, another $17. Um, if it was to go up, we are looking at, uh, first of all, 1,909, first target price. Second price is 1,926. Okay, so about $23 to the upside and also $40 to the upside. So exciting times, my friends. This is why you cannot miss out on the Forex market and the amazing financial markets that we see every single day, okay? Silver prices also drop and uh, S&P 500, um, amazingly, um, yesterday at the 3,383 levels, this is the price um, of the S&P 500 on February 19th this year, okay? That means uh, currently, uh, or as of yesterday, the S&P 500 um, almost closed at a record high of uh, 3,386 achieved on February 19th before the whole uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, through a spanner in the works. Okay, so uh, of course, it's been going up for quite some time already. So remember, um, it cannot keep on going up. So yesterday, uh, towards the closing of the US market trading sessions, the S&P 500 saw uh, some profit taking and pushed down 50 points. Okay. Oil prices, uh, as expected, uh, it was uh, moving yesterday. It was initially going up, uh, testing this uh, this range over here, okay, this range over here, and then after towards the evening session, it came back down about one dollars and twenty nine cents. Okay, currently it's gone sideways again. Uh, pending tonight's data, there's a high chance that it may pull back to test this level of forty one point three one, which is about fifty cents to the downside and to the upside. Again, we are looking for the resistance at 42.82, which is about $1 to the upside. Okay, so exciting times ahead, my friends. Um, always be careful, be watchful, and uh, take a trade by understanding the latest chart patterns, sentiments, and as the price action and volume is pushing it, that is the time to enter the markets. So have a good trading day ahead, my friends, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you, take care, and see you tomorrow.